So we are here at the Pennsylvania Holstein Convention. We got invited here because of the Breeders Forum. Certainly learned a lot as I listened to the panel discussion this morning. This is the Pennsylvania Holstein Association Annual Convention. Pennsylvania is one of the top uh, Holstein uh, organizations in the country. A lot of moving parts here to this. A lot of contests going on, tours, banquet last night, sale tonight, but a tremendous turnout here today. The Breeders Forum is the other 98% of breeders that milk cows, maybe they don't market on the high end, but they want cows that live a long time, produce a large volume of milk. We all had a different breeding philosophies and a different opinion on the industry in general. We just wanted to share our stories with everybody else. Our message today is there's no right or wrong way to breed a herd of cows. You can be successful however, whatever your wishes or wherever your goals are. And, and we wanted to actually bring that out today that don't feel that there's not a place for you in this industry. It's a big industry, it's a diverse industry, and there's opportunities for all. I like how the dynamics are of the different breeders and how we all are enthusiastic about the Holstein breed. I think all farmers like to be our own boss and we like to make our own choices. At our farm we believe a lot in pedigree and bloodlines. We have some cows that we can trace back over 25 generations. Pedigrees, registration papers, lineage, they place value, added value on these animals. There's so many different ways to go about breeding cattle. What is it that drives you? that gives you that drive to be successful. Is it genomics? Is it show? Is it balanced cows? It can be a lot of different things. Find those mentors that share those same goals and ideas with you and learn from them and let them help you be successful. That's what we're here for, to help you find them. Today there's producers and there's genetic companies and there isn't much in between. There is concern about who's going to own our genetics going forward. And as traditional breeders of Holstein cattle, it concerns me when I see other livestock industries not being owned and controlled by the people that develop them. Primarily, I'm talking about the breeders. There is a certain need for immediate action, immediate discussion as to who is going to own our genetics. I think we need to, you know, figure out how to get some ownership back into our sires and what we do, where the semen and uh, genetics are going to be coming from in the future, you know. I, it's our information. I mean, we, we, that's where it's all generated. Generated on the farm. Together we can create some seed stock that will not necessarily be produced inside their controlled pool of genetics. It provides some outside genetics that can maybe go into that pool later or can be marketed to complement where some of those programs will fall short. There's peaks and valleys in the business, but overall, we feel that registered cattle put profit, put dollar bills in owners' pockets. The, the registered cattle outproduce the, their, their counterparts significantly. I have a great admiration and respect for Holstein Association because I see it as an equalizer, that every, every member is, is equal. It's not like uh, some of these co-ops have become particularly milk co-ops, and, and I think the big takeaway from today is to look at the future, don't jump the fence, but do what you're doing better at home. We all have differences on how we breed cattle and so forth, but there's one thing for sure. We all come together and that we know that Holstein and Holstein USA are the main focus of profitability. The Holstein cow is a profit machine. And I think people don't understand. It is one of the most well-oiled machines that we have in our industry, is Holstein USA and the way it's run. There will be a dairy industry going forward. And I hope today that part of the message that, that we uh, tried to bring out is that we can be part. Anyone in this room today can be part of the dairy industry if they so desire. <laughs>